everybody welcome back to my channel my name is Tyler Treats I'm back with another video in today's video I am going to be doing a review video I have multiple things that I need to review so I am just going to do that in this video now um so yeah I hope you enjoy the multiple reviews instead of me doing like multiple videos I didn't want to do that um I just wanted to do all my reviews in one video so um the first thing that i'm going to do to review first is my heating pad because i need my ipad um to read what it's supposed to do and all that other stuff so this is my heating pad i got it from macy's um so i got this because i have really bad cramping especially on my period well i have only have bad cramping on my period um but it's bad so i needed a new heating pad because the one i had i've had it since i was 12 years old and it went out on me it went out like the day before i was about to start my period i was like oh my fucking god like that shit pissed me off so i went on macy's macy's was having a black friday sale thank god so their heating pads were 20 dollars um so i got me and my mom on so this is the pure enrichment heating pad in blush i believe this is what it looks like it's really really long I, this was a blind buy because like i said i needed one um so i just literally typed the heating pads clicked the cheapest one and ordered it um so yeah this is the pure enrichment heating pad it's very very to the point so you have a shut off button I mean, you have an on-off button, you have a warm, low, medium, and high. I put this bad boy on high. What I do want to say is if you use heating pads, you need to make sure you have some type of layer. Don't, th don't just put this on your skin. Like, no. Um, even if the layer is like you, a sheet over you, and then the heating pad on top, like, because I know some people sleep naked, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah. Um, oh, and don't use this while you're sleeping. I know don't use this while you're sleeping because you just don't know. Like, it, it's not ideal for you to use this while you're sleeping. So, um, yeah. But this is a really, really good heating pad. And I'm going to read what it's supposed to say it does and if it actually does that. So, this is the Pure Enrichment Pure Relief XL Heating Pad. Um, it's 12 by 24. It's electric heating for back pain, cramps. Um, it has six heat settings. Oh, wait, y'all. This isn't the one. I was about to say six. I only see five okay so this is not the one but it looks just like it but the control is different so this isn't the one this is the one on amazon i want the one that i have let me see here i go this is what i get for trying to be prepared pure enrichments heating pad This is so fucking annoying. Like, why are you not loading? And what is hsn.com? I don't even know what this is. Okay. But I just want to show y'all the exact one that I have. Okay, so here we go. This is the heating pad that I have right here. That's what it's going to look like online if you want to purchase it online. Um, but yeah, so this one right here, it says it's on sale for $24.99. I got mine for $30. At, I mean $30. I got mine for $20 at Macy's because they had a sale. But I think it retails for um, $30 originally. 
And so, okay. Let's see what it's supposed to do. This one doesn't have what it's, what it's supposed to do. Anyways, let me just tell you what it has. So it's it has it's supposed to have automatic two hour shut off. Um, it has a warm, low, medium, high, and it's literally like your average heating pad. Like it's really really nice. You can wash it. It's machine washable. So if you take it off, you just remove this, remove that, and it can go in the washer um and put it in the dryer so yeah i was trying to be all i was trying to give y'all a full set review on it and read everything but um i don't even like videos like that i, I tend to skip over that so yeah but yeah i suggest everyone gets a heating pad especially if you have bad cramps Ugh, i hate that Anyways, moving on, I'm just going to do all my period stuff together. So, what I also decided to buy was these Rayel heating patches for menstrual cramps. They had a sale going on. It was buy three, get one free. So, that's what I did. Y'all, when I tell you these are a dream, okay? These are a dream. I only needed to use two because... um these are for if you need to leave the house and you're on your cycle um typically i don't leave the house on my cycle but obviously days come things happen to where i need to leave the house on my cycle and my cycle is only three days um so i only had to use two three come in a pack but when i tell you these are excellent they're so excellent um you can actually sleep with these on because it's not electric um but it gives out heat so it is supposed to be soothing heat therapy you put it on your underwear you do not use this on your bare skin you put it on your underwear like so like where your um where you're cramping you can put it right on where you're cramping and it works so much better between my new heating pad and these i probably only i don't even remember taking tylenol i think i took tylenol like one time and usually i have to pop them back to back when i'm on my period um and i only took tylenol like once i believe yeah these are a dream these are absolutely a dream especially like i said if you're out so it says tip apply patch on undergarments around common sites of aching during your menstrual cycle like lower abdomen and back soothe menstrual pain alleviate menstrual cramp pain with natural heat therapy infused with mood boosting botanicals adhesive heating patch warms up to an ideal therapeutic temperature to temporarily relieve pain for up to eight hours at a time i didn't think this shit was true i did not think this shit was gonna last eight hours when i tell you i went to sleep with this on woke up and it was still hot yeah yeah like i forgot i had it on i forgot that i was even cramping these are a game changer and i really like these i hate that only three come in a pack um but like i said i only had to use two um but yeah these are these are great and it has rose oil lemon oil and jasmine oil um so these i highly 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 recommend especially if you need to leave your house while on your period yeah um the next thing we're gonna review since we're already in our period <laughs> review we're gonna review these this is my first time trying these actual ones so i got the regular ones because 
I just wanted to see like how the regular one looked. Um, so they're like small, they're like that. Obviously, they're not gonna work if I'm just full blown on my period, like the first, but these will work like the first day, probably, and they'll probably work the last day I'm on my period. That second day, I be needing an overnight pad. Like this is not gonna cut it for my second day. Um, but yeah, probably for like my first day and my third day, second day, absolutely not. So I would not suggest getting the regular ones if you are an overflower. These are they they're kind of like panty liners. I don't really suggest these. Yeah, I don't really suggest these. Um, but if they ran out of panty liners and you needed some panty liners, I would suggest getting the regular ones. Because sometimes that happens. Sometimes Target is out of stock. Um, and I actually think that's what happened here. I needed some panty liners and it was out of stock. But yeah, um, I would suggest these as panty liners, but not as like actual pads because it's not big enough. no no that's not gonna hold nothing but yeah these are the rayel ultra thin pads am i gonna buy them again no because i have panty liners and i don't need any more um but these are good to have though i'm never gonna knock having pad you can never have enough pads and all that um and those are also small enough to put in your purse. So if you don't want to walk around with an oversized pad, they're small enough to put in your purse. So if you, I'll tell you like, um, my last period, I started in the car, right? Like I could feel the cramps coming on in the car and I was not at home. So I was like, fuck, like, fuck. So yeah, that's actually why I bought those. So yeah. Yeah, they're small enough to put in your purse. So, like, this is my bag. And you just put it in there. Whereas an oversized pad, very bulky, and it's just like, okay, no. I, I ain't feeling it. Okay, so next, for my review, we have my Stanley. I know I've already did a review on this cup. But when I tell y'all, this cup is absolutely my favorites this cup is literally my favorite so i like it because it has that's why i like it and there's actually liquid in here so that is why i like this cup and i love that it has the top handle because i can carry this anywhere and not really worry about germs or anything like that um and it's a top straw but y'all should be washing your cups okay don't just use your cup and use your cup and use your cup just because you're filling it up with water you should always be washing your cups they're dishwasher safe get get a little soap swish it around wash the bag take this off wash around here wash in the in the mouthpiece you should be washing your cups okay all right yeah one of my best purchases yeah i love this cup next we have this um i actually saw this on tiktok this is the milani lip oil I have it on my lips right now. I don't think I did a full review on it though, but this is literally like gonna be my staple go-to lip gloss. It's $8 at Target. And as you can see, I'm out of it. I need another one. I I see why this is hyped up. It's very, it's not, even, it's not sticky. It's not sticky. When my man be kissing on me, he like it because it tastes like, it tastes like, it just tastes fruity. It doesn't taste like, ugh. You know how you how sometimes you taste your lip gloss and it's like, ew. You know what I mean? So yeah, this actually tastes 
it's actually moisturizing for his lips too so when he kisses me it's like you know yeah so yeah this is the fruit fetish raspberry peach lip oil i love this shit i love i even go to sleep with this this is my go-to lip gloss go-to lip gloss yes next we have a little bit of hair care you already know i had to throw in some hair care in this video so we have the camille rose black caster and chebe shampoo and we also have the camille rose black caster and chebe deep conditioner i love these two together i have some left because i haven't been deep conditioning every single wash day oh this smells so good so good i only deep condition when i need to now so like if i have a protective style or if my hair is just really really dry i deep condition typically this would already be gone i bought this back in what september i got this back in september it would already be gone by now um that's how much i don't deep condition anymore because i used to deep condition every single wash day and it's not needed so deep condition as you need you understand you don't have to deep condition every wash day but this is a really really good deep conditioner for me feels great absolutely bomb especially when you apply a little bit of heat oh immaculate okay um so yeah this is a intense strengthening treatment vegan friendly free of parabens and sulfates camille rose just never misses though Like, they never miss with any of their products. And I always wanted to try this line. Um, So, yeah, their deep conditioner is really, really good. And next, we have the Black Caster and Shebe Inv Invigorating Scalp Treatment Shampoo. Love. Love. I love this product. I love it for a couple of reasons. So I like it because it's nice and thick. So I'm not using too much. Like I said, I got these back in September. I'm not using too much product when I um, use this, number one. And number two, I like that it has... Excuse me. I like that it has the nozzle, so... I really, really like the nozzle on this, and it has a good lather. I love shampoos with lather. For me, psychologically, I feel like if there's no lather, it's not doing shit. Honestly, that's just how I feel. Um, I'll talk about that with my next product, because that was really a problem. Um, but yeah, this is really, really good. I love the price point of it. I love how thick it is. I especially love the nozzle because I can get directly to my scalp. If you have thicker hair, you know damn well how hard it is to get shampoo onto your scalp, into your scalp. So I love that it has the nozzle so I can just put it directly on there, swish it around, you know what I'm saying, with my little, my little shampoo brush and get on with it um because for with like pump shampoos you gotta put it on make sure it's in there and it's just annoying as hell so yeah um so yeah i love these two products they are absolutely gold the ingredients are bomb as well black caster and chebe go together so yeah love love the next thing we have is girl plus hair or girl in hair. Now, I have a love and hate relationship with these products. This is the Curl Cloud Clarifying Apple Cider Vinegar Rinse. Um, so it has shea butter castor oil tea tree oil no sulfates no silicones no parabens and it is on the naturally curly award winner so y'all can see that i like that it has a nozzle okay i love that it has the nozzle so i can get it to my scalp 
what threw me off about this product so much was the fact that it didn't have no lather okay i need to see suds i need to see but on the bottle actually it does say clear okay but that's what really threw me off and that's why i used a lot of the product because i didn't feel like it was working on my scalp right um but who boy was it working okay so you're not gonna get any lather you're not gonna get any suds but it feels like a peppermint patty because of the tea tree in here but hey this feels like a peppermint patty on your scalp okay so you do not need much of this product and that's what was fucking me up because i was using so much of it after like even after i was styling i was like fuck why does my scalp feel like a peppermint my scalp felt very very cool for a long period of time and it was because i had to put two and two together this has tea tree you know this is supposed to be a detoxing shampoo so obviously it's gonna detox and it's gonna leave that cooling sensation but it was because i used a lot of the product as well you know what i'm saying because i was in the shower like trying to figure out what the fuck is wrong with me because why isn't this lathering um so i just thought it wasn't working when in re when in actual reality it was working and yeah baby this works <laughs> this works okay when i say this works this works okay um so yeah but i like this product though i really really like it i will definitely buy the travel size version of this of this brand um so yeah definitely gonna get that um but yeah i like it Now for the Girl and Hair Scalp Detox. I feel like this could have been in a pump. I'm not going to lie. I feel like this could have been in a pump because it was kind of hard for me to get the product out and distribute it in the shower. Um, I don't feel like the conditioner needed a nozzle. I feel like the conditioner would was would have been cool with a pump in my opinion personally because it's like thick, you know? Um but yeah, I like this product. I didn't really mind it. It was good. It was a it was a it was a good time. We had a good time. We had a ball. So, yeah, I would definitely recommend these products. Like I said, I am going to get the travel size version of these because this is really, really good, especially if you have protective styles in. So, and that's why it's going to give you that minting, mint sensation because, you know, when you have a protective style in, you want relief instantly. So, that's why it doesn't have suds because it's not meant for you know like everyday use it's meant when you have a protective style in especially if you're on the go so let's say you go to i don't know what's an island let's say you go to an island for vacation right and you you have braids okay you're gonna have to get all that sea water out of your hair right um, you're going to have to get all that sea salt out of your hair and stuff. So, especially if you have braids, you can put this in, lather it up, rinse it out, and there's no suds or anything like that. So, I think that's what she meant to use this to um, use this for. Gentle clarifying cleanser to relieve buildup without damaged hair, stripping it of moisture, blah, 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 blah. But yeah, I am definitely going to use this when I have protective styles and need to wash my hair. So, for example, I'm going to put mini twists in my hair at some point. And, um, yeah, I'm going to use this to clarify my hair when I, when I need to wash it and I don't feel like taking my mini twists down. So, yeah, y'all, that was it for this video. Um... I am satisfied with all of my purchases. I love all of my stuff. Everything is absolutely bomb, especially my cramping stuff. Um, uh, I'm satisfied with everything that I have and everything in this video I'm going to repurchase. So, yeah, it's been... Well, I don't think I will repurchase... 
don't think I will repurchase a Stanley because it's pretty durable. So I don't see myself repurchasing another one. Um, I will repurchase it for like my mom or something like that. Um, but yeah, I think when you get a Stanley, you only need one, right? Or if you want like a house one and an outside one. I don't know. Whatever. But yeah, y'all. So thank y'all so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Make sure you follow me on Instagram. My Instagram is Kyla Latrice. And I'll see y'all in the next video. Peace.